Turkey's outlaw Kurdistan Workers' Party says the conditions for maintaining a ceasefire with Ankara is no longer in place. This after Turkish warplanes bombed PKK positions in northern Iraq. The PKK says that it has the right to defend itself and to resist. The group described Turkey's bombardment of their positions as the most serious military and political error of President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. One person was killed and three others were injured in the attack. Turkey's operations will, if needed, continue until the terror organization's command centers. All locations where they plan attacks against Turkey and all depots used to store arms to be used against Turkey are destroyed. Meanwhile, President of Iraq's Kurdistan regional government, Masoud Barzani, has called an anchor to halt his air race against Kurds. Anchor claims Barzani has given the green light for the aerial campaign against PKK. The developments come after the military wing of the Kurdish group said that it killed two Turkish police officers on Wednesday. The officers were accused of collaborating with ISIL in a deadly bombing in the predominantly Kurdish town of Suruç in southern Turkey earlier this week. Hussein Baychi is a professor at the Middle East University who joins us on the phone uh, to share his thoughts with us. On Hussein Baychi, when we take a look at the events that happened, or well, the incident that happened in Suruç, the bombing, 34 people killed, and then you have the PKK claiming responsibility for those two uh, Turkish police officers. Uh, it's quite interesting that they coincided almost together to give way for Turkey now to show that it's going to fight the ISIL quite conveniently, uh, both in Iraq and in Syria. Um, the Turkish government has uh, declared now the war against PKK and uh, ISIS. Uh, it was uh, Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan who started the peace process as Prime Minister, and it seems that he has finished the peace process with the decision to uh, attack uh, PKK uh, camps and also fight uh, ISIS. So this is uh, the most important uh, decision in the last uh, 12 years uh, that the Turkish government has taken. Uh, I think uh, the loss of uh, lives will continue the fight will get another dimension in the next uh, uh, days and weeks. And probably this is the biggest uh, strategic change of Turkish government in the last five years. And uh, with the United States of America, Turkey is undertaking uh, this military uh, air force operations, uh, both uh, at the same time against the PKK and against the ISIS and the American consent that Turkey has to fight PKK terrorism has been confirmed yesterday. And I think uh, the Turkish Prime Minister Davutoglu and President uh, uh, Erdogan uh, are entering now into the era of war, not peace process anymore. Thank you very much for that. Hossein Baichi, professor at Middle East University from Ankara.